this demonstration video, I will show you how to create a Gantt chart. I'll be creating the Gantt chart in the open source software Gantt Project, which you can download for free from gantproject.biz for Windows, macOS or Linux. In preparations, I've created a small planning on paper, which I will now put into Gantt Project to create a Gantt chart. If you want to click along with this video, please make sure you've got Gantt Project installed. When you open the Gantt Project application, it immediately shows you a blank project. You can see that each project has two tabs, the Gantt tab, in which we will create the Gantt chart for the project, and a resources tab that allows you to add resources. A primary in resource in your project will be you, but using this tab, you can also add any collaborators or re other resources such as equipment. For now, let's add yourself as a resource. Click on the resources tab. On the menu bar in the resource tab, Select the icon depicting a person to add a new resource. A pop-up menu appears and you can add your name in a designated field and you can select a role for yourself. For now, type your name and select Project Manager and press OK. Return to the Gantt chart by clicking on the Gantt tab. Let's add our first activity to our Gantt chart by clicking on the clock icon on the menu bar to add a new task. On the leftmost column of your screen, you will see that a new task has appeared. Rename this task to Work Package 1, Ideation, by typing in the task field. To add more details, double-click the activity to open its property menu. In the General tab of the Properties menu, add the desired start date, in this case today, and the number of working days you plan for the activity to last, in our case 7 working days. Next, select the Resources tab of the Properties menu, click on Add and add yourself as a resource. Click OK to close the Properties menu of Work Package 1 and return to the Gantt chart. A bar spanning 7 working days has now appeared on the timeline. To add the next Work Package, again select the New Task icon from the menu bar and name this new task Work Package 2, Write Plan. Double click this activity to open its Properties menu and enter a length of 28 days for this activity. As Work Package 2 cannot start until Work Package 1 is finished, we want to add this interdependency to the Gantt chart. To do so, click on the predecessor tab in the Properties menu and click on Add. Select Work Package 1 as the predecessor and the correct type of interdependency, in this case Finish to Start. Next, go to the Resources tab and add yourself as a resource from the menu and click OK. In the Gantt chart, you now see that Work Package 2 has also appeared as a bar and its interdependency to Work Package 1 is indicated by an arrow. In Gantt charts, you can also add sub-activities for each Work Package. Let's do so for Work Package 2. Again, click on the New Task icon and add the following tasks. 2-1 Research Questions 2-2 Research Design and 2-3 Planning. To make 2-1 an activity of Work Package 2, click on the Indent button on the task of the Gantt chart on the left. Repeat this for 2-2 and 2-3. Now, we must assign a length for each activity in Work Package 2 and assign any interdependencies. In our case, we assume that 2-1 lasts 10 days and must be completed before 2-2, which will also last 10 days, and 2-3, which will last 8 days, cannot start until 2-2 is finished. Double-click on each activity and add the number of days in the interdependencies. If you want, you can also change the color of the bar chart in the General tab. When done, you can now see that Work Package 2 has been subdivided into three activities and their interdependencies. You can use the zoom out button on the taskbar of the timeline to fit the Gantt chart onto your screen. Now let us add a milestone, in our case the Project Plan Deadline. Again, click on the new task icon, rename it Project Plan Deadline and click on the unindent icon to bring the task back to Work Package level. Double-click to open its Properties menu. In the General tab, tick the Milestone box and add a date for our milestone. For now, let's assume we have a fixed deadline of March 31st. Enter this date, change the color of the milestone to red, and press OK. 
In the Gantt chart, a red diamond has now appeared to show our milestone. With that, this quick demonstration of how to make a basic Gantt chart comes to an end. There are many more options in Gantt charts that you can use, but for those, I refer you to the Gantt project website.